working with polynomials. And so today we're going to work with this trinomial right here. Okay? And we're going to, we, what we have done is we've done functions with it, right? Our, I'm sorry, we've, we've uh, taken, we've done factors with it. Today we're going to graph this. Okay? And so we're going to graph it in a fashion that looks something like this. Okay, and so if we have a, uh, a polynomial that is set up in this fashion, where it has an x squared, an x, and a number, this is called a quadratic function. Okay, it's a quadratic. And so what I want to show you guys is. So here, the 2 would be the same as an A, B would be the same as a 4, C would be the same as a 5, okay? And so this is just the way that we write quadratics. And so we're going to refer to them as the number in front of the x squared as A, the number in front of the x as B, and the number out here as C. Is that okay with everybody? All right. All right. All right, Sarah, what is A in this case right here? In this function right here, what would be A? Thank you. It's just two, okay? So A in this case would be two, all right? Nikki, what would be B? Okay, and Chris, what would be C? No problem, guys. Michael's got this. Nicole, good. Bailey, good on this. Man, good. All right. All right, we're going to use that down the road. I'm going to leave this up for just a second, okay? All right. To graph this, there's a, there's a, there's a whole bunch of different ways. Today, we're going to start with the easy way to graph it, okay? And this is the old plug and chug method. Okay, everybody remember this? Yeah. And so all we do is we're going to plug in negative 2 in each of the x's, and then we're going to figure out what y is. All right? Negative 1 in, figure out what all of y is. So go ahead and do that. I'll do it up here as well. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and plug in. Go ahead and plug in all of these. negative 2 here and I plugged it in for x there right because this is my this is my x value right and I plugged it in here so negative 2 squared was 4 times 2 right does that make sense Okay. 
Okay. All right. This shape that we have here, this is always going to be the shape that you're going to see in these quadratics. Okay. It's always a parabola. Always that shape. In the case where A is positive, where the two here, the front in front of x squared, it'll be an upward, this is called an upward parabola, because it goes upward. Okay. And the spot where it comes right here to the very lowest spot is called the minimum. Notice here we got a negative two. Okay, so now this is going to be a downward graph. Sorry. Downward. And this spot right here is the maximum. And that's again if A is negative. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Olivia? Can I erase can I erase this guy? Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. 